C'est bon de voir. Thank you. It's good to see the Prime Minister here uh, visiting Canada uh, to uh, fill up the gas on his private jet. But if things are bad on the ground in Canada, if the Financial Post says uh, that in Toronto, students are living in shelters for the homeless, the use of food banks is at record highs in history. It is really the worst time to increase costs for Canadians. Will the Prime Minister cancel the tax increases on gas, heating, food and paychecks? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to start by congratulating once again the member for Carleton, who is now the leader of the official opposition. And seeing as we are all back in the House of Commons now, I know that we have a lot of work to do this fall together. On this side of the House, we will focus on help for Canadians to create an economy that works for everyone. We will invest in creating more housing to counter the cost of living, to fight climate change, to help the, uh, the middle class and to help make communities safer and to put more money back into the most vulnerable families in Canada. And we hope that all Canadians will work with us. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. ...has effectively admitted that his carbon tax has not worked, and therefore he needs to triple it. Uh, according to the Liberal Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, the forthcoming hike in the carbon tax will mean that the total cost for a Newfoundland senior living in the countryside on their heating bill will have been 80 per cent. Canadians cannot afford that. But just for clarity, if, for, if you are a Newfoundland senior, how much will your home heating bill rise as a result of the forthcoming hike in the Liberal carbon tax? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, like all parliamentarians, uh, we have each heard stories from Canadians who are struggling uh, with the high cost of living, with the inflation that's been caused by the global crisis. That's why we're putting forward concrete measures that are going to help Canadians. We're going to double the D GST tax credit that's going to hit millions of families with extra support. We're delivering on uh, low, uh, low uh, support for low-income low families on dental, uh, and we're also moving forward with support for low-income rent. Uh, the Leader of the Opposition has an opportunity to support these measures and get help directly to Canadians. Here, here. I hope he does exactly that. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, the, 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 the Leader of the Liberal Party has an opportunity to respect the fact that heating your home in January and February in Canada is not a luxury. And it is, does not make those Canadians polluters. They're just trying to survive. This from a Prime Minister who burned more jet fuel in one month than 20 average Canadians burn in an entire year. So will the Prime Minister ground the jet, park the hypocrisy and ax the tax hikes? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House, we're going to continue to stay focused on direct and real help for Canadians, responding to the challenges they're facing with meaningful measures that are going to help millions of Canadians in the middle class and those working hard to join it. Uh, if Canadians had followed the advice of the Leader of the Opposition and invested in volatile cryptocurrencies in attempt to, quote, opt out of inflation, they would have lost half of their savings. Mr. Speaker, responsible leadership it means stepping up for Canadians and being there to support them. Will the Conservative leader support our measures to support Canadians? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. We will not support tax hikes on Canadians. Speaking of tax hikes, they plan to raise taxes on paychecks. Now, yesterday, the Finance Minister claimed that all the EI tax hikes that they would collect would go to EI benefits. In fact, I looked it up over the next three years. They're going to collect $10 billion more in EI taxes than they pay out in EI benefits, allowing the Prime Minister to grab up the difference and use it to feed his insatiable spending appetites. Canadians can't afford a bigger bite off their paychecks. Will the Prime Minister cancel his tax hikes on Canadian paychecks? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I think in this House it's important to look at the facts. And the facts are that when the Leader of the Opposition was the Minister responsible for employment insurance, 
uh, it, premiums were 20% higher for workers than they are now. That's right. Workers paid 20% more. Uh, that's why uh, we're continuing to move forward to support workers. On the issue of the CPP, uh, we promise to be there for workers as they become seniors to help them with their retirements, and that's exactly what we did. And in regards to uh, pricing pollution, we promised it would no longer be free to pollute anywhere in this country, and it no longer is. That's what we're focused on. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister is quite wrong. Today, payroll taxes on the average $60,000 a year worker are about $700 higher than when we left office. And by the way, we left with a balanced budget. Now, now he wants to raise those taxes even further. Bigger bite off Canadian paychecks at a time when inflation is at a 40-year high, when students are forced to live in homeless shelters, and when home ownership rates are at the lowest level in a generation. Doesn't he understand that now is the worst time to raise taxes? Will he cancel those tax hikes? The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition wants to go back in time. Let's look at what he was doing when he was in government. He continued to deliver child benefit checks to millionaire families, which we ended when we took office. And then he voted against uh, raising taxes on the wealthiest 1% so we could lower them on the middle class. And he voted against uh, a Canada child benefit that delivers hundreds of dollars a month tax-free to every Canadian family. We've seen where this Leader of the Opposition stands. On this side of the aisle, we're going to stay focused on helping Canadians for real. Yeah. Yeah.